going to talk about searching. So searching, uh, when you are looking at the OSF and you're trying to create your first project, you're on the first stage of your, your research life cycle, uh, you want to evaluate what's out there. The OSF has thousands and thousands and thousands of preprint publications. They have registered studies and plans and data and uh, analyses and all these things that researchers have been contributing and putting onto this amazing platform. But how do you find it? How do you discover it? So uh, this is a you are here uh, on the map of the OSF. So what I'm going to do in order to do that, I'm going to go to osf.io, obviously. Um, and you really don't even have to be logged in for this, but it does help. Uh, I'm going to look at search at the top bar here. Uh, search is one of the second tabs over. And if I click on that, it's going to take me to my search tab. Now, this is a new page that we have completely refined um, over the past year or so uh, in order to give more access to what we're doing. There's a couple of things that I really want to show you here. Um, along the side column, you'll see filters. Um, these will filter based on creator, date created, funder, um, subject license, and they do vary depending on these other filters that are along the top. Now, these other filters that are along the top, it's important to note that these are tools on the OSF. So projects doesn't refer to just general projects out in the world has just generally defined. These are OSF projects. Uh, these are registrations, which are either housed here on our registries or in connected registries. Uh, preprints, again, same thing. If they are in a connected preprint service, this is how you can search for those. Uh, files in the OSF, uh, particular users on the OSF. Um, so it's important to make sure that you're looking at the tools along with um, how you want to refine those things. So let's test it out. Uh, first thing I want to do is I'm going to try and search for projects. We're just going to look at different projects on the OSF here. Uh, first thing I want to do is I'm going to try and look for funder. Now, all of these things that are created along this side column are based on metadata. So when someone is creating a project, a registration preprint, they have the option of offering what is called metadata. That is data about your data, data about your project. It's very high level. Um, and the idea is that it's exactly for this purpose. Um, when I am an outsider, I'm coming to look and learn about what you're doing, I can now look and narrow down how I want to search for your things based on that metadata. So Funder is one of those options. Uh, first thing I'm going to look at here is I'm going to try the... Projects for Fire National Science Foundation. Um, I'm just going to click on the NIH, National Institute of Health. Now, that actually took me down to 20 results. There's only been 20 people on the OSF who have uh, created that particular filter um, who are funded by the NIH. I know there's more than that in the world, but this gives an opportunity for those 20 people to show up on someone's search a lot faster. Uh, and then what I can do is just pick one of these things. Uh, that metadata is going to take me to one of these OSF projects. And say I go up here to that metadata tab. We'll talk about projects more in a second. Um, this will actually show me some of the links and information about that, that project. So here uh, you have a description of what that project is, quick overview. Uh, you have the contributors that I could have found based on searching. Uh, resource type. They actually didn't list any resource type here, uh, but it could be uh, a data analysis plan, or it could be you know, a particular file, or you know, any sort of those things. And there's a drop down menu that you can choose from, but it does help you refine those things. Uh, they didn't list that this is in English. Obviously, I can tell that it's in English, but if someone say searched for only resources in English, uh, this one might not come up, unfortunately, even if it is in English. Uh, they listed what the funder is and the award title and the award information. All those things are valuable for someone who's trying to verify your work. Um, when you click on a link, it'll create a new tab. So I'm actually going to go back to my original tab here. That was fun. Let's start and we'll try and go back to the beginning. So say I don't like that particular search. Uh, in order to go back, I'm going to look here at the funder thing that I've created. So one of the criteria that I created. And if I wanted to get rid of that, all I'm going to do is click that X that is next to that button. That takes that search criteria and removes it from my thing. So now I only search criteria is projects. I'm actually going to look for registrations at this point. I click a different tab. So now my one search criteria is registrations. 
I'm going to then go to subject. This is a subject that they have classified themselves as. And I'm going to click psychology, which will give me you know, 34,000 results. All right. I want to narrow it down more than 35 or 34,000 results. Uh, I'm going to click clinical psychology, which will give me about you know, 3,000 results. Okay. So now my search results are compounding. I have psychology, clinical psychology, registration. Um, I'm going to talk, type in something now. Autism. Now I'm down to 129. Um, I have now refined it based on registration, psychology, clinical psychology, and a search term. Okay, this is fantastic because now I have a very refined list that I can kind of work from. But what if I want to share this list with, say, a PI, a friend, a colleague? I can take this, all these you know, search criteria are then found up here in my URL. So if I can take that, copy, paste it, I can now send it in the chat to all of you. And you can look at it and find 129 results. Uh, important thing that I also want to note here, I'm going to remove a couple of these search criteria so we can get back at it, is badges. Registrations have uh, open resource badges. Um, again, one of the things I was talking about is you want to create highways between your work. So whether you have data, analytical code, materials, the more that you connect those things to one place, more opportunities that people have to find your work. So especially open resource badges, if I say clicked on data, and again, I'm an outside person, I have no preference in what I'm picking here, I'm just going based on what's available. Uh, I now know that on this particular registration, this link, I will have access to their data, their analytical code, their materials, their paper, the final publication that came out of this, and some supplementary materials that came out of this. That's really appealing for me if I'm going to be clicking on a link because I don't have to go searching and going through multiple different search sources just to figure out what the data is that's associated with this registration or this uh, analytical code that's associated with this registration. It makes it very appealing for someone from an outsider to find your work. Mm -hmm.